Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling. So today we're going to talk about the topic of the week and that is quiet luxury. I didn't want to talk about it because I feel like, I don't know, it's been blown out of proportion. However, I do know that there's a name for it now. <laughs> Back in the day, living in New York City, we used to just say they look like money. No logos, nothing in your face. It was just like, if you know, you know. So, when I was in high school, in New York, Century 21 was the place to be, okay? Especially on a little job, <laughs> a little job. Century 21 was the place to be. So buying designer items was just something that I started out young doing. And you guys know I'm six feet tall, so I could not really just go to a regular store and just buy stuff. I had to make things work for me. And if that took me to go to Century 21 and just like browse around and try to find the best item for my, my budget, I did. So a friend of mine and I, we were both tall growing up and we both would pretty much go to Century 21 and buy like <laughs> Roberto Cavalli jeans, Versace jeans, and Moschino. And was it Moschino or Moschino? Moschino. I don't even remember. I just know they were both they were they were expensive, but you know, Century 21 you get like a nice little discount, but they were still pretty high. Now the Roberto Cavalli pants, jeans were like really nice because they had like different designs. No one in my school had them. I was only in the 10th grade. <laughs> she and I both were tall and we just we always had things that were different from what everybody else had because everyone shopped in the same area, but we didn't. She and I both were already like doing like little jobs and stuff. We were in school, actually it was 11th grade. We were in school, but still working like a little corporate job um, through the school. So we were exposed to other things. And like I said, watching women, older women, women who look like me, who was dressed extremely nice, it just kind of put my mind um, in a different place. Now, when we used to see men, <laughs> and this is bad because <laughs> I, I, we would see like white men right um and it was literally in, white and probably i want to say indian but definitely white men we used to see them with like white buttoned up shirts like linen shirts with jeans and dirty sneakers but still it was something about them that to me reeked money so we used to say, oh, he looked like money. And not your typical look like money with chains. And then, no, it was just different. So now that everyone has a word for it, for it, it was quiet luxury. I hope you guys can hear me because my air just came on. It was quiet luxury, right? His jeans were probably, God knows how much, in that shirt too. <laughs> and it was like, the clothes were fine, but the sneakers was just always just like a hot mess. So shopping downtown it just put us in a different space as well so let's talk about gucci before gucci used to have those sales those mid-year sales i think it was like twice a year i think june and december right and we used to shop the annual sales but i didn't really go for the stuff that was like logo crazy i think i mentioned this last video the soho the soho brand that they had or line that they had I still have them and the reason why I really like those bags now they don't they do have the big Gigi on them you guys can probably see it I have one up top and then one over here I think those are the only two yeah they do have <laughs> they do have the big G's on them but they are the same color as the bag so if you don't really look you won't really know what it is like is that all those Gigi's or not so that's not as quiet as something like okay let me show you guys something as quiet as and don't don't judge my little plastic <laughs> this sweater this is an alexander wang sweater this is what you call quiet luxury let me pull it out i don't 
don't know if my hands are like super super clean um i'm gonna show you guys okay this is what you call now this sweater here can you guys see that this sweater is like when i say it's so nice like beyond nice the quality is insane this is called quiet luxury to me because these i have two these things were not for the low low but the quality itself is what i really wanted like i didn't even care about the brand i love the style of the sweater and then i was like okay this is really expensive but then i was like you know what let me get it and you guys know me and my tall self i have to get what works for me regardless of the price right so that's like a quiet luxury for me alexander wang super expensive however i'm gonna go for quality first the quality is great now fast fashion like zara right some of their stuff can last you for a long time some don't theory is another brand people would think oh they only have work clothes but they have really nice things that's like quiet luxury for me as well and i think it really depends on you and your own personal budget right because for some people they're like our oh, theory is not not quiet luxury but it ain't cheap and the quality is amazing so it doesn't necessarily have to be a brand that everybody knows i just discovered bruno i think it's bruno cuccinelli like mm, maybe three years ago maybe a little longer and i was like who is this these clothes are amazing it, but they're like, very expensive so that is like quiet luxury as well so do you <laughs> like at the end of the day you want to dress for you do what works for your wardrobe and your style um it doesn't mean that you can't wear shades that are just like in your face wear what you want don't even put a name to it if you like things that are more on the subtle side you may probably do that with your your coats and your like your blazers and stuff right maybe something that's not too uh pronounced as far as the style because you want to wear it for a long time and then possibly maybe i don't know a sweatshirt you want it to be more logo driven because it's a little bit more on trend but quiet luxury this new name for it is driving everyone insane but it's been around forever the wealthy people have been doing this you know they don't do certain things and if i'm not mistaken from what i understand the whole wearing white after labor day was a wealthy class situation right and for them it was like don't wear white after labor day so they would separate themselves from quote unquote middle class people and poor people. I don't even like to use the word poor. Um, less fortunate people with that, right? But who cares? Times have changed, quiet luxury, logo mania. Do what works for you. I'm not a logo mania girl. However, I do love that Fendi poncho. I love it. I just love it haven't broke down and got it because I don't think it's as thick as I want it to be but I like it a lot I think it's one of those pieces that's gonna stay around for a long long time even though it does have the logos all over it but do what works for you guys don't get caught up in this whole quiet luxury thing trying to break the bank one because nine times out of ten it costs more than the stuff that is in your face think of like ready to wear stuff right Chanel has ready to wear they do have their logo on it but it's not well actually none of their stuff is like crazy but you do have designers that have ready to wear that's just like so expensive and the logo is like this small like so tiny but then if you go to like a regular department store and buy something else from that brand complete not ready to wear the logos can be everywhere so it really just depends on you as an individual and i feel like it's blown out of proportion it's so dumb <laughs> do what works for you but i will say this how i do it when it comes to bags and stuff yes you can it, it really just depends it really depends on what your budget is 
So as a style coach, when I have clients and stuff, I don't tell them to buy the most expensive things. They think that I'm everything I pick out is expensive. It's not that. I really be reading the labels <laughs> for the quality. And that's because I don't want them to actually, um, someone's calling me. Hold on one second, guys. That's my little brother. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so basically you want to, this is, this is my opinion. When it comes to your bags and your shoes, your trench coats, your wool coats, your ponchos, even your cardigans and stuff, I would say go quiet luxury, I'm gonna use that word, for those solely because you can wear them year after year after year more of a classic right so maybe if you want to dive into quiet luxury um because it is expensive you want to get the things that you can get your cost per wear out of it right let's take kate for example kate is another quiet luxury brand in my opinion sweaters from kate are extremely expensive now the only difference with kate is that the style is like will let you know that it's kate I don't know if this style is going to be around for a long time. So I guess think about do you really want to invest in something like that that may not be out in the next two years. So that's how I say do it. Buy some things that are trendy that are in your face logo mania if that's what you like. And then buy your essential pieces. Uh, <laughs> essential pieces that are quote unquote quiet luxury, right? And like I said, cashmere sweaters. Um, those are expensive depending on the designer but you could also get some that are a decent quality um, that can still last you some years from you know designers that are not as expensive but at the end of the day buy what works for you listen perfume is even expensive okay jewelry is even expensive these little rings you guys know these little rings from Aritzia not Aritzia what is this where are these from again I forgot I did a video on them. I completely forgot. <laughs> and Louisa? Nope. I don't think so. The other place. Anyway. But they were expensive. Back in the day, you could buy these for like $150. Not today. So, again, it really just depends on your budget and your lifestyle. Quiet Luxury has not been this new thing. It's been around for years okay many 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 years and now there's a name for it because of some show <laughs> buy the best quality guys and that is it i'm always going to tell you to buy the best quality um if you can if you can't okay buy the best quality for your budget don't go breaking the bank if you don't have it but buy the best quality for your budget if you used to shop at old navy and now you can step it up to zara yeah, do that. Then you go to Zara and you pick out the best pieces that you can pick out from Zara. Otherwise, don't try to break the bank. And then from Zara, you want to, you know, level up a little bit more to, um, what's the other brand? You got Bruno Cuccinelli. That's expensive. Theory, right? And then you just kind of go up from there. Go up from there. And before you know it, you'll have the wardrobe <laughs> of your dreams full of the clothes that you absolutely love um, with a mix of quiet <laughs> quiet luxury and logo mania luxury so that was just my quick little chat about quiet luxury there's a new name for it i hate it <laughs> just buy what you want to buy and i just call it classy and i'll give you guys an example i went to the mall recently and i was really simple but the lady said to me you girl you look like money and that is what this is what i know of quiet luxury being it's that subtle look like hmm like I said, if you know, you know, right? It could be your earrings, it can be a bracelet, it could be a watch, it could be you being minimal and not quote unquote loud. They're gonna be like, okay, I see you. And like I said, if you know, you know. <laughs> but that is my quick chat about quiet luxury, guys. Don't let it take you out of your realm of fashion and style. If you love logos, just wear them, okay? 
but just know that most of the time you're gonna have to probably buy the item over but if that is your thing then you just leave it forget what the naysayers say if you like quiet luxury that's just your thing it is what it is that's it everyone does their own thing when it comes to fashion everyone may not like it and who cares right do what works for you but anyway guys let me know what you guys think in the comment how do you feel about quiet luxury are you a person who do who does not like to show their brands of the things that they purchase or you're a person who just loves everybody to see what they have on okay so let's talk about it in the comments below and i will catch you guys in the next one if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you don't forget to follow me on instagram my coco styles nyc and coco styles ny and my personal style blog coco styles nyc and my style services coco styles ny.com and i'm on tickety tickety talk coco styles nyc and i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys